Why do I live in North Liberty? Well, that's a uh, it's a long story, actually. My um, I used to live in the I grew up in eastern Iowa, and I lived in the Washington D.C. area after college for about six years, where I met my wife, and uh, both of us had an opportunity to move back to the Midwest, and she is now in, working at the University of Iowa, and this was the uh, that was the only place, and really in the state, that she could uh, she could work based upon education and interests. So. Uh, we picked North Liberty kind of off of a map because I accepted a job in Cedar Rapids, so it was a central location for, for all, both of us. Because it's, uh, we've been here for over five years now, and it's a, it's a community, you know, through the Telecommunications Commission, um, through uh, everybody that's uh, involved in the city. We just have gotten to love and know so many people here in uh, North Liberty that um, serving on council seemed to be something that I would do in an effort to just um, help take care of the city that, I, that I've uh, grown uh, to be a part of and to grown, grown to love very much. So uh, I felt like I couldn't uh, complain about the direction or anything that was happening in North Liberty uh, unless I was given the opportunity to help. And um, lo and behold, I've have the opportunity now. I think the two biggest ones you probably will have heard this uh, over and over from us in the debates are going to be the uh, the starting of uh, the 965 widening process. Uh, in, in a minimum, the intersections uh, through North Liberty, uh, getting those getting those up and running. Uh, the, the biggest hurdle I think for us is going to be the funding and where we're going to get those funds uh, to complete that. Uh, and I'm very uh, optimistic that we'll find that and uh, whether it takes uh, a little bit uh, piece by piece for it to happen uh, or not, uh, we'll, we'll find a way to take care of that. Uh, that's been a long time coming and, and having um, been in North Liberty, like I said, for five years now, you, you really, uh, we've grown uh, as a city, but we also, I, you know, using it every day, you understand um, the frustrations and they're the same frustrations that you just have and they build upon each other. Uh, over the over the course of these years, so uh, that will be a, a wonderful uh, relief to have that completed. Uh, also, the um, the facility expansion process that we're going to uh, formally undertake here next month is uh, something I'm really excited about because we have a um, a, a tremendous amount of. Uh, needs uh, to accommodate the, sta the staff, the growing staff that we have here within the city. Uh, our police department, uh, first and foremost, is uh, severely outgrown uh, their space in there. Not that I would encourage anyone to just stop in the police department and say, hey, give me a tour, but um, if you really um, haven't had a chance to understand how limited they are down there in space, uh, that, that is something that I'm looking forward to helping them uh, grow out of that space um, or get into a new space here in the upcoming year. Uh, we have been married, you're going to put me on the spot here, that'll be five years here in April. The other big state university in Iowa besides the University of Iowa. My degree is in finance and my, I had a minor in economics. Uh, one. Just had a little girl in September of last year. So she's uh, just over four months old now. The highlight of the day is getting her to roll over. Um, you know, she's, she's, she's really strong. She has great strong neck muscles and, and um, uh, she's able to sit up on, on her hands. But uh, it's, it's, a, it's wonderful and we go nuts when we see her roll over for the, uh, for the day. So she's been doing that for a couple of weeks now. So that's been, uh, it's been exciting to watch that happen. Uh, no, actually, I'm a stay-at-home dad, so I am the uh, the babysitter, and, and uh, Valerie is uh, it, Valerie is able to take care of uh, us financially and, and to work. Uh, as far as going anywhere, we're not we we haven't gotten to be that adventuresome yet with her. We've um, we just uh, went out for a shopping trip for the uh, actually the second time since she's been born. The first time was only like six or seven weeks after she was born, and it really wasn't. Uh, it didn't go all that well. Let's just put it that way. Um, so we we were a little gun shy on that. So we started. Uh, we went back out this weekend to, to do that, and it was a lot of fun. But um, we're gonna take a plane ride here in a couple of weeks, actually, and that will. Um, we're already very nervous about that. Yeah. I'm, my, my wife is from Washington, Valerie is. Uh, her folks live um, between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, actually. 
Uh, my parents live about an hour northeast of here, um, over in uh, Jones County. Uh, if you're familiar with the Midland Community School Districts, they live up there, uh, Wyoming, uh, Lost Nation, Oxford Junction uh, area. I have a younger sister, um, Kim, and she is, uh, let's see, she's 30, 30, 32 years old, uh, and I'm going to be 35 here in a couple of months. We do. We have a um, four-year-old lab. His name is Sam, and he is, uh, we actually adopted him a little over a year ago, so he was three, and uh, fortunately he was completely housebroken, and um, it's just been a, it's been a, a great great part of our, uh, our family. So he's a lot of fun, very energetic as labs can be. Uh, um, he uh, gets me out to uh, run once a day. I think we kind of do it for each other. I do it so he can get out of the house and he, uh, he nudges me along to go out and run too to, to stay active. <laughs> My wife, Valerie will laugh when she sees this, but it's how to win friends and influence people. Enough said. <laughs> Um, favorite movie I'd say probably have to be Caddyshack. How's that? The first one. Yes, the first one. The second one wasn't really a Caddyshack, but the, the first one. Favorite type of food um, would probably be Italian uh, or Mexican because of the, uh, the cheese contents of, of both of those. I just love it. Uh, cheese. Is cheese a food category? She's a type of food. Oh, type of food, yeah, cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Favorite pro sports team. As a kid growing up uh, in the late 70s, early 80s, it was uh, absolutely the Pittsburgh Steelers football team. And uh, I switched teams to the Miami Dolphins early in the 80s and have kind of stuck with them. And um, I don't know, growing up here in Iowa, uh, you can pick whatever team is popular, whether it's the Bears in the mid-80s or if it's the Packers in the, you know, the, 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 in the 90s. So uh, I'd say by default the Dolphins have kind of been, but not, not for any great reason, really. Um, I like country music, primarily. Uh, I'll listen to others, I'll listen to most everything, uh, but if I have the choice on the dial, uh, I usually flip to the country stations. I would just, just in one of openness, um, when you have questions, uh, get involved, ask us. Um, all of our email addresses are on the North Liberty website. Um, don't be afraid to participate. I think that's the most fun that I've had in the last five years. Uh, you know, there's, there have been uh, some fun things to be a part of and to watch in the last five years, but there have also been some uh, things that have been a little difficult for North Liberty. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, just getting involved in, and, uh, in, in doing uh, being a part of the community, I think you know, call uh, uh, you know, call on us or or or, or come to our, come to the meetings uh, or get involved in, in your own you know corner of the city, whether it's uh, through your church or through your school, um, you know, in your neighborhood, your family, whatever it is, to, just to get involved. There's a lot of great things to do in this old town.